Hello guys, welcome back to another video in the channel. Today we're doing the preview for Tottenham Hotspur or Spurs versus Arsenal. This is a, the North London derby and I'm hyped for it. It's the biggest game of Arsenal and Tottenham season and it's for European places because Arsenal are only one point above Tottenham and it is a big, big game to decide who could finish in those European places. Firstly for Arsenal, they did have a 1-1 draw against Leicester City and uh, we did actually lead in that game through Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang Saka did get an assist in that game but later on we did get a red card Eddie Nketiah did get sent off and that did really ruin our hopes as we did concede late to Jeremy Vardy losing us that game uh, loads of people were complaining about the referee not being good I think it doesn't put past the chance that we should have taken our chances in the first half when Arsenal were on top. I think the likes of Lacazette had good chances to finish off the game. And if we would have taken them, we wouldn't be blaming the ref. So I think uh, that is the problem. And uh, we just have to move on now. And uh, this game against Tottenham Hotspur, there's no time for dwelling because we have to be up for this one. It's the North London derby. And uh, it will be interesting to see what happens here because Tottenham aren't in the greatest run of form. And um, we really need to get some more wins if we do want to make a push for the Champions League places and uh, looking at the league table for Arsenal in terms of points they have closed the gap to Manchester United for five points but United still have to play Aston Villa um, later on this week so they'll probably close the gap again which is not very good for us uh, for Tottenham Hotspur they do have to play AFC Bournemouth uh, later on this week so again they have to play on Thursday before playing on Sunday so we do get a bit of a rest which is a bit of an advantage for us we are five points behind Man United who haven't played yet and only two points behind Wolves who haven't played yet uh, Wolves will actually play uh, today against Sheffield United so again I think if Wolves win they will be taking it even further five points away from us and uh, we'll have to see what happens to be honest we can't make any judgments or European places right now but we have to keep moving on and some of the some of the performances in that game, especially the man of, ma man of the match performance from Kieran Tierney was excellent and we just have to keep, keep going and uh, hopefully this game against Tottenham Hotspur, we just, you know, we need to be on it because if for this game, form goes out of the window, we need to be primed and ready to go, there's no slip ups and uh, we have to be on our best game, every player has to give 120% and that is what will decide this game against Tottenham Hotspur, it's the biggest game of the season, our first game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium but with no fans, it would be very very weird and uh, let's see if we can get that North London derby intensity even without the fans because you know that this game has provided good games in the past and we really need to uh, try and get a result against Tottenham Hotspur. That's the big one. So I'm going to get straight into the predicted lineup for that game. Starting off in goal, I'm going to go with Emi Martinez. Now, for Emi Martinez, he has been excellent over the last few games, especially the Wolves game. He kept a clean sheet, but going into the Leicester game, he went for the same idea. But obviously, we didn't get the clean sheet, but I still thought he had, some, he had a really good performance, made some good judgment, and I've got nothing more to say about Emi Martinez. Uh, going into the back three, I'm going to stick with the same back three that played against Leicester City which was David Luiz, Squadron Mustafi and Sead Kolasinac. I thought I don't want to separate these three. They'll have a quite a long rest. Wait, let me count this. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four or five day rest for the three. And I think if they uh, have a good rest, I think they'll start again together. Uh, again, th they've been too good together. I think they've been a very good partnership and there's no point to break up that partnership. So that's why I'm going to stick with that back three. The wing backs now. This uh, I'm gonna make a little change here. Left wing back, obviously, it's gonna be Kieran Tierney. I think he has been excellent. He has been outstanding in an Arsenal shirt, and I really want to keep his form going. And um, yeah, and hopefully he can become a future captain of this football club. And uh, I'm very thrilled to see him. Uh, on the right wing back row, I'm gonna go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Now. Ainsley Maitland-Niles, he, he's a player that actually came on in the dying minutes against Leicester when the game was like in extra time, like the added eight minutes added time for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. But I think he is a much better defender than uh, Hector Bellerin. I think if they are going to go down that left-hand side with the likes of Steven Bergwijn and uh, Hume Son, we will need to cover that right-hand side quite well. So I think uh, with Bellerin's positioning not being very good, I think um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles coming in could provide something much different and it will be very, very good for us which is why I'm going to go with Ainsley Maitland-Niles and Kieran Tierney as the two wing-backs. 
Moving on to the two holding midfielders or the sentiments, I don't know what you want to call them, but I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka and Danny Ceballos. I'm not going to separate these two because they have been phenomenal. Uh, Lucas Terra actually came on against Leicester, but he didn't do anything exceptional for me. I thought Ceballos looks like a completely different player. He looks really, really good, and I'm enthralled to see him uh, playing so well in an Arsenal shirt. And uh, for me, I think he needs a loan extension to see what he can do in a full year with Arteta, I think. And then maybe we can add like an option to buy or maybe an obligation to buy. That would be very, very good for us um, to sign Danny Savas. And I'm not going to rule rule it out because, you know, he's not going to get into the Real Madrid side. And uh, we, you know, we need someone who could be challenging for that spot, especially if the likes of Thomas Partey do come into the club. And if we are going to get rid of Matteo Guendouzi, we need someone good in there. So with a lot of uh, technical ability and he's like a playmaker and he could link up the play he's perfect for that which is why I'm going to go with uh, Ceballos and Xhaka obviously he's been he's been that rock he's been that unsung hero uh, in that position he's been he, you know people don't really notice him in games but he does play a huge part in uh, defending and uh, linking up the play building up the play so which is why I'm going to go with Granit Xhaka now moving into the front three now I'm going to go with on the right hand side I'm gonna go with Nicola Pepe. Now thing is with Nicola Pepe he didn't play at all in the last game. I don't know why I think Arteta decided to just bench a load of players instead of bringing on his attackers. So uh, and then he didn't play in the Wolves game because of personal family reasons. So for Nicola Pepe, I think uh, he really needs to play in this game. I think his pace and his uh, skills will really rip apart that left back of uh, Tottenham Hotspur. I'm not sure who they're going to go with in that left back position, uh, but maybe like Danny Rose. Is he still at the club? I don't even know. I don't follow Tottenham Hotspur. So, but I think whoever it is, I think Nicola Pepe has the ability to get past him, and with the wing-back of Maitland Niles, I think, with the overlapping runs, with the ability of Pepe to cut back inside on his left foot and put uh, goals away, I think that'll be very, very crucial to us, which is why I'm going to go with Nicola Pepe on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go with Bukayu Saka. He has been playing a lot of games in the national shirt, and he has proved why he deserved the new contract, because he did score the opening goal against um, Wolves, and he did create the opening goal against Leicester, so he needs to stay in the side. I think a 4-5 day rest uh, till the uh, North London derby would do him much, much good, which is why I'm going to go with Bukayi Saka. He's been excellent, probably one of the best youngsters in the world right now. He's so good. And up front, as the main striker, I'm going to go with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. I'm going to take Lacazette out of the side, firstly, because again he he's just he's just not clicking man he's so not clinical yeah that one chance against Leicester you know you can be dissipated for the whole game but you know you get one chance and if you put that away you're a hero but he's just not putting away his chances very unfortunate for him but I'd probably look in to ship him out you know sell him not give him any contract but sell him because if Atleta prefers Eddie and Ketty then there's no point but Eddie and Ketty is red carded suspended for this game so We'll have to see uh, how this rolls, um, but I'm going to go Pierre and go Bamiang. He will want to chase Vardy because Vardy did get on the score sheet, which means he's two behind him. So we'll have to see how that pans out. And that is my starting uh, lineup. So Martin is in goal with a back three of Luis, Socrates, Luis, Mustafi, and Kolasinac in the wing backs of Maitland, Niles, and Tini, with Grant Shaka and Sabaos in the holding midfield positions. And uh, Nicola Pepe, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, and Bokayu Saka up front. So that is my team. Now I'm going to predict my predicted score. So I think this is going to be a 2 0 win to Arsenal. I think they are the much better team here, much better form. I know form doesn't count, but when you're going into it, you need that confidence from previous games which Arsenal have Arteta looks really happy with this side there's a lot of harmony in the side which is why I think that result will happen so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed please leave a subscribe and again North London derby at the weekend biggest game for the two clubs interesting to see what happens thank you guys so much for watching